Hi, ninth grade physical science students. I am uh, just making a little video here to show you how to access the lab. Uh, if you look up in your Google Classroom, you will go to um, Unit 8, Chapter 3, and you're going to see the virtual friction lab. And you'll see this document. And you'll click on that. And then basically all, everything in bold is an instruction and then you see questions every so often that you have to answer. Now you're going to be answering these questions off of this virtual lab. <clears throat> so you click on that link on doc and then you press play right here. And then you see four boxes and you click on the friction. And now you've got a wooden doll and a, a crate. Uh, over here, you've got a friction bar. This represents how rough the surface is. Is it like a gravel road or is it ice? If I have a lot of friction, it's more gravelly probably. If there's none, it's more like ice. Um, what I wanna check is this box up here, the forces box, and I wanna check the speed box. So I can see how fast this is going. Then down here, I can push on the crate. And I'm gonna use the one arrow, not the double arrow here. And I'm just gonna slowly start pushing. Now at the beginning it asks, uh, when you push, why isn't it moving? And so you'll answer that question. And eventually you wanna keep pushing until you get this to move. And you might have to go for a ways. And you can see that as you push and as you push, your applied force, the friction force is fighting back on you. Now eventually you're gonna get up to some force where it's moving. Now you push and it starts moving. Now notice that the speed keeps increasing. So now what you, after you record that, find the spot where the force no longer causes the object to speed up. So you might have to keep decreasing little by little until you find that point anyway where the speed stops increasing. And then you'll record that. And uh, It'll ask you some more questions. The second time through, you're gonna hit reset. Now you're gonna increase your friction up to here, somewhere over on the right. And then you're gonna repeat everything that you just did. You're gonna see how much force it takes to start it moving, and then how much force you need to push on it to keep it moving. When you're done with that, you will then switch objects. Put this down here, you'll hit reset. Oops. And then repeat, how much force is required to move this now heavier object and how much force is required to keep it moving once it starts moving. So this is the stuff you're gonna use. Again, keep that speed box checked. Um, and otherwise that's all you need to do.